Hello everyone. I'm glad that you've all gathered here today for me and my colleagues' lecture on environmental impact on gene mutation of species. Random variations occur in all species. If an environment favours a certain mutation over its non-mutated counterpart, for example, less body hair in a hot desert environment, then as time progresses, the mutation will outlive the rest and the leftover species will predominantly carry that mutated gene. Upon saying this, we can infer that environments have a crucial and important impact in, on which genes are mutated and expressed as dominant in the population. The different environments concerning the amount of UV radiation reaching environments being absorbed by skin is one of the proposed reasons for skin color selection. It is more favorable to have more melanin if you are near the equator and less as you go outwards decreasing more quickly in the northern hemisphere than the southern hemisphere. This is inversely correlated to the UV radiation distribution on Earth, where there is a higher amount of UV in the southern hemisphere, hence darker skin because it's more heat, than the northern hemisphere in which it is colder and generally less UV. This is why people in the northern hemisphere who live away from the equator have a light skin tone, and people who live towards the hemisphere, and more towards the southern hemisphere, to tend towards a darker skin tone. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my colleague Milad. Now for my section of environmental influence on gene expression, I'm going to talk about the effect of chemical drugs in pollution and radiation on gene mutation of a species. These types of influences are classified as external environmental influences, and an example of this was seen in the Biston Betularia. Melanistic variety of the Biston Betularia, or moths, were rare, but became more common in 19th century England during the Industrial Revolution. Dark varieties of insects are called melanistic. Melanistic moths are uh, camouflage against tree branches with sulfur dioxide pollution. This helps them hide from birds and other animals that hunt in the daylight. In areas that became industrialized, the peppered moths were found and preyed upon, uh, while the melanistic variety of the peppered moths survived and could breed and pass on um, the dark wing color. This caused a shift in the phenotype of the Bison Bichularia population from peppered to melanic. A few years later, scientists discovered that the that jumping genes cause this. The jumping genes are mobile segments of the DNA that can alter gene expression of other genes by changing their position within a genome. After talking about the UV radiation and chemical drugs, the change of environment temperature can also be a factor that influences species gene expression. Himalayan rabbits is an example that effect had effect by temperature. Himalayan rabbit is a type of rabbit that with cold color when one of the recesses LICH present in homozygous condition. This type of rabbit will express with white fur all over the body, expect the nose, horns, ears, and tails which are black. And the black extremity are the portion which have lower temperature, less than 34 degrees Celsius than the rest of the body. If the extremity are exposed to height higher temperature artificially, the new fur will start to grow white. Um, however, if the portion of the body breathing albino fur is artificially keep at a low temperature, the fur will form in black. The allele CH, CH is coded for an enzyme used in the pigment formation, which is temperature sensitive ally. The Allies is inactive by the temperature above 34 degrees Celsius, which results in albino phenotype. If the temperature is lower, the same allies promotes synthesized of pigment, which, which the phenotype is black. Moreover, when the rabbits of this genotype are growing at a cold environment, they could completely be black as well. Thank you for your time. So what do you think worked well? I think what worked well for the most part is our group coordination. We set up tasks and goals and we accomplished them. For example, writing up a script by week 7. What was challenging? I think what was challenging for the most part was coordinating times in which we could all uh, come together and actually have a group meeting. Why did you choose this topic? We chose this topic because it was very closely re related to genetics and it was also immensely interesting. And what was your role? 
I researched and presented the relationship between the amount of UV radiation and the dominant skin color expressed in that geographical location, and I helped edit the final product. Okay. So, Viren, what worked well? I believe that my group members and I coordinated well and kept to schedule by meeting the deadlines that we were allocated to uh, for our individual tasks. And on top of this, uh, this meant that we were able to finish the video on time and make necessary last minute edits that were necessary. What was challenging? I personally felt that recording was challenging because every time I made a mistake in my part of the lecture, um, this meant that I had to restart that section of the recording. Why did you choose this topic? I personally chose this topic because um, I felt that it related to the course of genetics, but especially the peppered moths was something I had done previously in high school and doing more research on it was something that uh, interested me. And what was your role? Uh, my role um, in the group was to talk about the chemical influence of uh, radiation and pollution on gene expression. I also arranged setting up the video recording equipment and the room that was required to make the video, as well as contributed to the video editing. So Nathan, what worked well? Uh, I think the best part is we are able to finish our video assignment quite earlier, so like we don't need to rush till end of the due day, and each person had contributed to the assignment very well. What did you find challenging? Uh, the most challenging is to schedule free time for everybody, because not like everyone have available time, and different person have like different timetable. Why did you choose this topic? Uh, because it's about genetics and it's related to one of our lectures like we have learned in the course. So it helps like our understanding more about gene stuff. And what was your role in this? Uh, my role is to research about the environmental temperature that can inf influence the gene expression and also help a bit when we are recording video. Thank you.